What's up my hunting brothers and sisters? Today we are going to talk saddle hunting tethers and the better way to connect to the tree than what you might first think. So stay tuned. we're going to talk tether connection to the tree while you're saddle hunting and it just seems like no big deal you just throw it around run it through the loop and voila well let me show you a couple things here so obviously you want to do this when you are have got your lines and belt connected i personally like my tether about uh oh bridge of the nose eye height somewhere in that ballpark range right there and if you just run it through the loop that's what you get okay and that will work Okay, and we then can hook into our bridge and we'll get our length where we want it set. Okay, but here's the problem you're gonna fight. You're gonna fight this all the time. It, when you don't have tension or a significant amount of tension on it, okay, it's gonna to wanna to come loose. So let's say you pull into the tree, you adjust something. Every time you do this, this whole thing comes loose and it can work its way down the tree, okay? And then you're constantly fidgeting with it and trying to get it to where you want it and get it tightened back down. Now, yeah, it's tight, but you can see it's not, it's not really, really all that tight. Another thing too is people throw them on, they're not conscious of the direction. And I purposely put this on backwards to show this. Um, if I'm going to the right because I went through the loop from the right, well, it's basically trucker hitching on that. So it's pulling it tighter. But when I go around to the left, now all of a sudden, I basically have got an open loop right here, okay? And this can actually slip and move, okay? And so it's just not as safe. There's a much safer way to do this. And let me show you real quick. All right, so the safer way to do this, to really get it to bite, is to take your loop and pull a loop of line back through the loop. So now you've got a loop that you just created with your loop around the line. And then if you are a right-handed shooter, like I would be, so my primary direction I probably want to go is that way, is then I will keep this loop in my right hand. I will go around the right side of the tree with my tag end take the tag in into my left hand, okay? And now get that height where I want it, and I'm gonna pass the rope through the loop that I made, not the loop on the end of the rope, okay? And some of these ropes, like this latitude, have these plastic sleeves in them, and so you just gotta kind of work around that. And now what you've done is you've created a girth hitch, okay? And you can get that girth hitch really tight to the tree. Okay, and now that thing's not going anywhere, unlike the open loop method that can go places and can get you in all kinds of trouble. So let's load this thing up. First of all, you'll notice with it not loading up, or not loaded up, it's not going anywhere like the open loop one was. Okay, and now when we load it up, now it's pulling really tight on that tree and you're biting into this rope and nothing's slipping. And the fact that you went around the tree from right to left being a right-handed shooter, when you work to the right around the tree, it's pulling against itself in that trucker's hitch style, if you can see that right there. It's pulling against itself. When you go to the right, yes, it's, it's got an open loop set up, but because you girth hitched it, this is biting onto this rope extra tight. So it's just a much more secure way to hook up to the tree with your tether. If there is one downside to this setup right here, it's when you pack up and you're done, and again, you only disconnect once you've hooked up your linesman, because this is biting on here, sometimes you really kind of have to finesse this, okay? And this works on eight millimeter and 11 millimeter ropes. So you really have to finesse it and kind of get it open and then pass everything back through 
like so. Oops, I caught my carabiner on one of the loops and pass everything back through like so. And I personally typically just leave this looped like that. If it comes out, it's no big deal to redo it, but I'll just keep it looped in my bag so it's all ready to go in the dark. So that's your tip on doing your tether in a much safer way than what just feels like common sense. So as always, stay safe and it's a new day in the outdoors.